Magnus Sykes, back with another Magnus Answers. I was sitting on my throne of thought, in thought, and I decided to descend and answer your question, woman. Ah, I got a new subscriber, all right? Let's call her KM. I don't know if she really wants me to say her name, but she, she wrote me the other day on Facebook and it says, Man, I stumbled upon your YouTube videos and watched for an hour. So it's 3 a.m. and I got a job interview tomorrow, but I definitely need some advice about a black guy I've sort of been seeing for about 20 months. So I'll message you about it later today. Great stuff, by the way. And I said, I'll be waiting. Now, this is long. She wrote in like all these tidbit messages. So just sit back and relax. I'll try to throw as much energy in reading it and everything so you don't fall asleep. My first time reading, a lot of times I read this stuff before, I tell y'all, but, all right, so here we go. Okay, so here's a little of the story. It would be so much easier to talk. Yes, I know. <laughs> I sold cars. He came in looking at them, and he got started talking. Well, beyond cars. And I was just really impressed by him. Good looking, sharp dressed, good career, educated, religious, well spoken, well groomed. Total package. I always had a black uncle, but never thought much about it. But I didn't even see color or think about it because he impressed me so much. So have customer info, do follow up for 90 days. I eventually asked him out. <laughs> Ooh, you like Sarah. I goes after what I want. Um, lost my place. I eventually asked him out. There was always something a little off, but not in the alarming guy instinct kind of way you get something about people anyway turned out he wasn't divorced but had been separated for a year when we first started dating and when he approached her for the divorce she wouldn't give it to him they have a seven-year-old and he's pretty religious so he decided to try and work it out we met february february first date we met February 1st. We met in February. The first date was April. He was separated a year at this point. Broke up in October. They started counseling in November. She moved back in February. I met his son once in March. Now it's November. And I'm lost. But I'm going to keep reading. So we've remained close friends. Text every day. Talk at least once a week for about an hour have lunch or coffee a couple of times a month. Girl, you dipping into something bad, this man is married. Supposedly, she has severe endometriosis and aside from the pain of intercourse, no other interest in anything physical. He's pretty religious, so since he decided to give her another shot, he hasn't taken advantage of my availability. Any other guy, and I think he was full of crap, but my guy just doesn't tell me that about him. He's told me a couple of times when we were dating that he loved me. We had already had sex, so it wasn't to play, it wasn't a play. He's told me then and since he took her back that his feelings for me, that he has feelings for me, that it would bother him to see me with someone else. But he can't do anything about it right now. So he understands if I do. He's afraid of his son hating him for leaving his sick mom or for leaving her and conveniently having another girlfriend right away. He says, and I believe if it were, weren't for his son, they wouldn't be together. This was the third time she has moved out and left him. Damn. I've never loved anyone like I do him. He's my best friend. His little boy is super smart and sweet. There's nothing about the man that doesn't get on my nerves or that I don't like. I want him. I tell him positive, uplifting, true things about him all the time. I tell him his much, how much I value him in my life, that I'm in love with him. He knows exactly how I feel. So, the question 
is how the hell do I get him to finally give up on the woman he had described as cold, manipulative, materialistic, and come to me where he belongs? Woo! Woman? Hmm. <laughs> As you know, from listening to my videos, I talk to y'all like you're my friends, family, and acquaintances. I'm gonna tell you right now, you playing with fire. I'm telling you right now, you playing with fire. I realize you love everything about the man. The one mistake he has made is that he has been seeing you. He has had sex with you. He has made this mistake and he has cheated on his wife with you, you became the side bitch, the other woman, you know what I'm saying? When he talked to his wife, she'd be like, treat me like you do that other bitch, Tony. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really is alive when he sees you and he's with you, having sex with you, talking to you, texting you. But he's got this woman that apparently he still has feelings for because I think he would have left her if he didn't still have feelings for her. I don't think that he's using you, although he could have been. A lot of times, I really, <laughs> look, let me tell you something. Guys will throw around, I love you, just to, you know, you cinch it in, and you, you'll follow him like a little baby. You know what I mean? Like, like lemmings right off of a cliff, although I heard that's a myth anyway. But stay with me, all right? I can't really give you advice on how to get him to leave. Because he could just be talking. A lot of times when people are ruled by their anger, they tend to talk shit about the person. Uh, I've been in, I've been even in a relationship with a person where, you know, like when they were angry, they couldn't see nothing else good that I did, you know, um, and, you know, sometimes people become irrational like that. Like, this woman may have done everything for him. But this, this, and this, and this irritate him. And over the seven years, the irritation has grown. And it may be small irritants. And he just wants to get away from it. You know what I mean? And he, he could be exaggerating a lot of the things he says about her. I'm not saying that he is or isn't. But I'm telling you from being in different relationships and knowing how people think, how people react, and they end up doing stupid things behind their partner's back to, to, to make themselves feel better. You know, I personally, if I, you look, girl, look, look, it's me and you right now. Look, okay, we the same cat. We looking in each other's eyes, all right? Me and you gonna talk this out. If I'm, look, you my friend right now, I'm telling you, girl, you need to find another man to date and to love you. I'm telling you right now, cause you don't want to wait around and miss a great opportunity. Now you apparently said you asked him out. So you like, like I said, you like Sarah, you go after exactly what you want. So the next man you see that looks fine and professional and sexy like Tyrone Magnus, you need to stop him. You need to say, look, I was checking you out from afar, and I could see your greatness. Would you like to go out to eat for brunch? And he's going to say, yeah, because men ain't used to being asked out, unless he's married or something. So, well, this dude, wow. <laughs> anyway, you got to think. You know, a lot of people never, ever, ever think about this. If he did it to her, what makes you think he won't do it to you? Now, you done known him for 20 months. That's a long time. So I'm sure you do by this time know him at his core. But I'm just saying, you don't know after you two get together. I mean, shit, he's going. Say you two do get together. He leaves her. She got the son. You, you're going to have baby mama drama. You know you're going to have that. So apparently you're prepared for that. You're going to have the whole baby mama drama, alimony drama, all that other shit. But just what if? After y'all get together, you know, sometimes you don't really know someone until you start living with them. And say things start going bad with y'all. Say you get another bitch on the side, you know? I mean, I get it. A lot of it, it's, it's a person is hurting and they never will cheat again. I get that. That's true. People can make a mistake and people deserve a second chance. But these are things that you need to think about. Don't just 
say, oh, you know, he's everything I always wanted. I mean, you could be a little bit infatuated, especially if you put it on you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, us sexy businessmen, you know, we, we have a habit of throwing it on you. Then y'all don't know, you know, then we throw in I love you. Bam! It's over. Woo! You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So I just want you to think things through. Think things through. You seem pretty level-headed, able to communicate, you know, your, your, your story to me. But I just want you, I don't, what I don't want, I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to be like, you know, running after this man as the side woman and, uh, you know, and get hurt. You know, like, I gotta, <laughs> I know some people who, uh, you know, they uh, got together and, you um, the girl was the side woman. And the, the man did eventually leave. He had children. And, uh, but shit started happening later on. And there was a, another woman. And that other woman said, the way you got him, bitch, is the way you're gonna lose him. I was like, woo! Like, you think about that for a second. See, a lot of times that karma boomerang Goes out, comes back, smacks you right in your fucking face, splits all your shit, knocks all your fronts out, Grrr, knocks them all out. That's what you don't want to happen, especially if you slept with this man knowing he was married. That's the thing. If you slept with him knowing he was married, you could have some serious karma coming back to your ass. So what you might want to do is just correct what you did, say you're sorry, make your apologies, Apologize to him, to God if you're religious, and move on. If it is meant to be, it is meant to be, and every other man you meet after him will be nothing, will be nothing in comparison to him, a shadow of him. Like if Sarah were to leave me, every man after me would be only a shadow, a cheap imitation, a nobody, a nothing, a peon compared to me. But you'll realize that, and guess what? Magically, at some point, he and you will reconnect, and he will be good with her, good with his child, separated, divorced, and you and him will have your family together finally at once. But if it don't happen, it don't happen, and don't worry about it. Because I've met people in the past that I thought were so great for me and so perfect, and it still blew up. So please. You know what I mean? All right. I hope that I have helped you. Stay a loyal subscriber. Don't be a side bitch. I love you, girl. That's coming from the heart. That's me and you talking. You know what I'm saying? It's me and you talking. We vibing on one level. Me and you. Three hours you watch me until three in the morning. Then you went and got the job in the morning. At least I hope you did. Let me know if you got the job, all right? Hope I helped you, girl. Oh, man, subscribers. Woo!